KETV News Watch 7 is Lauren Scott, live this morning with the very latest. Good morning, Lauren. Things around here have really taken a turn for the worse since I last talked to you. Thousands of people waiting to get inside of Mid-America Center for old Comic-Con. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding with you guys. <laughs> right now I'm in the Fairdale Village Marketplace, which is an example of the growth in this community. They have so many new businesses here, like this sneaker design shop. They have a nail salon down here. Right now I'm on Ridgewood Avenue, where parts of the streets are literally crumbling. Good morning, James and Melissa. You know, I really feel like I need some chewing gum or, or maybe some sunflower seeds down here to really get into the baseball mood. As many of these people have been here since 3 p.m. yesterday, some running for almost 17 hours straight. Can you believe it? And right now I'm here with the man behind this entire event. You started this five years ago. Larry, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great, thank you. And can you tell me a little bit about how this all came about? Uh, I was one of the original relay runners in 2013. We do have a few more updates for you this morning. Uh, both of these buildings were boarded up and vacant. That is what fire departments have told me. I'm going to step off the way so you can just see the extensive damage of this fire. And uh, this entire intersection of 168th and Maple has been blocked off. If you need to come this way, you can cut through the nearby shopping center, but we advise just to avoid this intersection altogether. Good morning, guys. I'm out here near 21st and Martha where police say a man was shot. And he's been taken to the hospital and extremely critical condition. I want to show you the scene right now. I just want to give you guys a little background on what these students are saying out here. They're saying this is a peaceful rally. It is not a protest. A lot of the students have told me that they just simply feel as if as students, they weren't able to vote. They did not have a say in any of this, and this is their way of having a say. So we're out here at Lewis and Clark Landing. They have the American Idol auditions out here today. They start at 9 a.m. There's so many excited people out here. I'm going to show you them, but I want to give you a little bit of the details first. Tucked away in North Omaha, near the corners of North 33rd Avenue and Grant Street, you'll find a little slice of Eden. Look at that. Ooh, look at that heart. For over 10 years now, Kenneth Mitchell has been tending these gardens, providing his community with freshly grown fruits and vegetables. If you came by and said, could I get a couple tomatoes? It's hard for me to say, give me some money. A giving heart fueled by hard work. The two lots by Mitchell's home belong to the city, but he took it upon himself to maintain them. I said, well, there's got to be good, you know, good uh, use for all this property. So that's what I started my garden. Inside the garden, you'll find everything from tomatoes and corn to the more unique. Purple hog peas, got crotter peas, and we got uh, zipper cream peas. And in a neighborhood many consider to be a food desert, Mitchell's home is an oasis. Once a week, twice a week, whenever he say, come and get it, I come and get it. I drop what I'm doing and come and get it. The cars come by. Uh, blow. Uh, I can hear him sometime. Hey, hey, you got any tomatoes? And Mitchell says if you're in the neighborhood, feel free to knock on his door and see what's fresh. It's a joy and it's a blessing to be able to give than receive. You know, and that's biblical. In North Omaha, Lauren Scott, KETV News Watch 7. Monday night, Shelly Westfar went to bed with an eerie reminder of the explosion that rocked her neighborhood. Nobody wants to sleep under that. That drives home every minute that there'll be a new normal. She rushed home to an unimaginable scene. Nothing could have prepared me for this. I mean, this is our home. I've lived here for 10 years. My neighbor that called me had been here for 12 years. After taking in the destruction right across her backyard, she found a different nightmare inside her own home. Walls cracked in every room. Door windows shattered. Holes in the ceiling. Her garage door destroyed. I couldn't help but think, oh dear God, it might be Christmas by the time this all gets fixed. Smelly girl. All around the neighborhood, the broken glass leads to a similar story. Broken picture frames, uh, doors won't shut. The whole house shifted so much, all the, all the rooms, the drywall is separated from the ceiling. Suzanne Hartleman came home to find all 19 windows in her home shattered. Uh, everything was blown off the walls, uh, the doors were all imploded. Despite the damage, she and so many other neighbors are simply counting their blessings today. It's very traumatic, uh, but we'll be okay. You know, it's just stuff. It's just stuff. My name is Jameson Kemp and I have my own business called Your Favorite Grandson Delivery Service. He's only 11, but Jameson Kemp is ready to take your order. 
Kent. He started your favorite grandson delivery service just this summer as a way to help senior citizens in his neighborhood. Thinking of maybe going with them and doing their chores, but then I thought I could I walk over to the grocery store all day. Maybe I could walk over and deliver groceries to them. So with a little help from his parents, me and my mom, we started making a business plan. We started making flyers. He started taking orders, and YFG became a reality. Mom says she's not surprised in Jameson's entrepreneurial spirit. This is kind of what we've been talking about since he's been younger, that we understand that it's going to take multiple streams of income to make it in this day and age. And so we've always talked about starting your own business. He spread the delivery service to local businesses as well. Thank you very much. But says he's still keeping his options open for a future career. I want to be either an electrical engineer, a detective, or a professional football player. And for anyone who bets against this young man, he has a message for you. Well, I would say, well, you're a hater. Haters make me greater. No matter what you say, I always go and keep persevering. In North Omaha, Lauren Scott, KCV Newswatch 7.